welcome back to our channel. I don't know why I'm wearing a dress for a you're chilling. Cute. I love it. You're wearing your wedding necklace today. We're actually filming on our official two year anniversary. Happy two year anniversary. anniversary. Happy McDonald's two year anniversary. Cheers. <laughs> With baby girl sat over there sleeping in the corner. Not sat. Hasn't sat yet. You know, when do they start sitting? Not yet, like yeah. six months or something. Well, she is three months. She is three months. Halfway. Because really like, we always work by weeks, so we're like 12 weeks, almost three months. She's three months. <laughs> yeah. When do you start yeah, changing? Yeah, sorry, I'm just ignoring you and digging it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was, I was going to say, is there a better video than one that involves food for us? No. We say it every what? time. We seriously haven't done one of these in. Like literally during pregnancy, we used to do these like weekly. Weekly mukbangs. Pretty right. much weekly. Like they were a, a big occasion on our channel, and everyone was like, "Please stop doing them." No, they weren't. <laughs> but we we haven't done one in ages. We had Amber, and then mm -hmm. I don't know where we've been on the mukbangs. Like oh, we've just been slacking. Mm. So we're back mm. with mukbang, with mukbang, and we thought we would do like just just a chat yeah. juicy chit chat that's what we love to do over here well we usually kind of do q and a map plans, but we thought we'd you know do some questions have it a bit mm. chill do you know a bit of this and that i just tried to be really cute sorry i just speak my mouth full <laughs> everyone always comments how i speak with my mouth open but i just try and like take you know our mukbangs as if i'm like ch chatting and chilling with my friends but then every time i say that people are like well you shouldn't really be speaking with your mouth full, even with your friends, so that doesn't work either, but it's just what I'm like. It's always awkward though, isn't it? Dinner dates and stuff, because compos just die if you don't eat yeah. with your mouth full. Like, as long as you're not literally there, like, yeah. mm, 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 like, you can I have a little like, chat as I the remember foods. when we started dating, and you kind of, you'd be like, mm. oh, no, am I answering this question? We, am, I, <laughs> am, I, am I, oh gosh, am I, am I talking soon? And then it would take like half an hour to get through a main meal. <laughs> literally. To be fair, me and you never did that. We just kind of, the food came and we kind of, Gobble. it was all gone within about 10 minutes. Um, we still did that. And then we still chatted for 20 minutes yeah. afterwards and waited for dessert. We're the quickest eaters ever. We are. Like, we literally gobble. So, yeah, mukbangs actually slow you, slow us down. Mm. Big time. They do. Like, I'm starving. I just want to kind of mm. eat this Hoover thing. it up. Oh. I literally just tried to put on my engagement ring. I was like, I'm going to be really cute. Two years wedding anniversary, seven years together. <laughs> Um, I really miss my engagement rings and wedding rings. When I got pregnant, my finger swelled, and then I think it might just be pregnancy weight gain now because I'm three months postpartum and my rings still don't fit. So I've got a new hand size. Um, <laughs> you changed your foot size, you changed your hand size. My feet have gone up a size as well, guys. I just. <laughs> I've just expanded, my love has expanded, my body has expanded, even my toes and hands and fingers and everything. So yeah, I just tried to put it on, because I tried to put it on like two weeks ago and I was like, not going to happen. And then I was like, right, special occasion today, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to be in the video and see if you notice. And I was going to be like, yeah, but it got stuck on my sausages, so. So it got stuck halfway on, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait, like, mm -hmm. just past the knuckle? Like, no, it got past the knuckle, like, yeah, like, down to here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's fine, that can stay like that. And I was like, no, don't be stupid, because the more I get, like, excited, the more mm. my hands will swell, and then I'll literally have to have it, like, cut off. And I feel like just from being there, it's crazy, though, how much my hands swell. I, I now mm. actively take my ring off when I do exercise, because when I'm not doing exercise, I'm going to prove wrong now, sorry, my fingers are greasy, it comes off mm -hmm. really easily, like, usually easier again than that. Yeah. It goes on and off really easily. God, it goes on off all the time. time. It's because as soon as I do exercise, I go on a run. I don't wear it to the gym because of scratches, even though it's absolutely destroyed on my right <laughs> um, no, no. My fingers just swell so much that I feel it. Like my, my fingers like swap mm. against my ring. That's it's crazy. Sense. It's not even like my hands are doing any work on a run. I'm like, why are you guys getting all the blood? You don't need the blood. <laughs> blood rushes to the most important yeah. parts of your body. <laughs> no wonder my legs are so, so tired <laughs> during a run. Because my hands are like going, I can do everything. I've got all the blood I need. Literally. <laughs> this is not even really related, but you kind of reminded me. <laughs> Did I just slurp that? <laughs> <laughs> I always drink my my. my pouring, it's like you're it a it creates a funnel. Why try it. Just, try no, it. No, you I'm, can try it with mine if you don't want to squish your mug. <laughs> How amazing is that? Well, it creates a funnel. Say, I wouldn't say it's amazing. I would, it's, I would say you could just drink it normally. No, because then you get it more on your lips, and you don't wear lipstick, so. Yeah, I'm okay. So why don't you just tilt your head back? Would that be easier? Not tilting. I'm going to do that. <laughs> what was I talking about? Yoga. I don't know what, what, what I was thinking about that. But I was just thinking about like right, exercise and stuff. Honestly, I've been doing a bit more like yoga and things. It is crazy. 
crazy. I know you've only done a little bit of yoga and I basically forced you to. I just can't do it. <laughs> He's like, Amy Sink, honestly, beginner's yoga on YouTube. <laughs> Search it, guys. It's like, hard. If you can do it, you're actually an expert. In That's yoga. what I mean. Right, literally, try this move. You can literally do it sat here, right? This is the most simplest move. Try it if you're at home. I was like, why is this like the most painful thing ever? And it's literally like the most simple thing. Okay. Arms out to the side. Right, sorry, I'm just preparing. Come on, focus, yoga. <laughs> Arms out to the side, fingers up. Sorry, isn't this meant to be my thoughts and chill with us and you're screaming at me to do yoga? <laughs> Let's go, get the heart rate up. Okay, fingers up to the point, your fingers up to the ceiling and, and try and point them towards your head. So like, just, just really flex them in, yeah? So are you feeling a nice stretch here? As far as I can go. Yeah, are you feeling a yeah. nice stretch here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll so hold take it for ten minutes. <laughs> no, take this arm. Uh, no, yeah. so bend your head this way, ear to shoulder. Is that a nice stretch down there? Honestly, I'm in agony, guys. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on? Put for? that over and just like rest it on your head and just let the gravity yeah. Just let the gravity pull it, and then really flex your fingers up. Oh, how sore is that? Oh gosh, my neck's in pain. And it my feels heart so good though. Just getting pins and needles. So good, and it's so simple. I really need to start doing yoga because yeah. I have heard it's very good for you from some people. Does that feel good? Oh, like, isn't that an incredible so stretch? Nice. It is an amazing stretch. And it's literally just putting your arm out and putting one of your arms on your head. No, my arms are dead. You feel like you have to go into some amazing yogi position to get a good stretch when that's all I need to do. It's literally that. I put my fingers in the air. So, yeah, I don't know how that was related to your oh. running situation. But I, I just think that was one thing that I didn't see coming up today. I kept me yoga positions. I kept me in to make me try that. Right. To experience. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, your lipstick! What's <laughs> on your lip? It took so long putting your lipstick oh, on. No, is it still there? Like that. Uh, so I asked my story for like topics. I thought that'd be fun, but then I'm not really sure if anyone did topics. I can't remember what I screenshotted. Honestly, I think Cass... you would just talk about Motown for well, thirty minutes. Straight. No, what I what I love. Yeah. <laughs> I love Cass for many reasons, and I do actually like how excited she gets about things and how much she chats, and how she's such a chatterbox. <laughs> but I love it even more when we're filming mukbangs, because I can literally go, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I knew you were going to say that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you just want to eat. I can eat. get through the entire McDonald's, and Cass has just talked for the last half an hour. It's great. I'm happy with that too, because I love talking. <laughs> okay, first sort of topic. It's not really a topic, it's kind of just more like a question. How do you deal with the majority of media showing slim-sized girls when you're a mid-sized gal? Good question. This is for me as well. Uh, yeah, well it can be. You're a mid-sized guy. Um, I thought it was a good question, because honestly, like, what, what is media? I know it sounds like a stupid question, but I don't know if I follow along with media. Like, is media like news? Because for me... I think it's, social, it's everything you see on social media and stuff, I think. It's all media. Right. Adverts but like, who shows... Media. Who shows um, only showing slim girls? Because mm. that depends on who you follow, because that's what I was going to say. Yeah, on social media. Is, is it like the news and things like that, or? No, the news, the news doesn't really show anything. It would be films, TV shows, yeah. TV adverts, okay. mm. billboards, okay. um, as well yeah. as social media accounts, promoting clothes and promoting all sorts. Right. I think, yeah, with social media accounts these days, it all depends on which brands you follow, mm. but the majority are pretty good mm. these days. They are, and I just, Immediately I thought, oh, it's not, no, like no one shows just slim people anymore. And I thought, oh wait, they probably do. It's probably just who I've selected to follow. So mm. like, when I think of media, I think of social media. And obviously I spend far too much time on Instagram. My feed is filled with who I want to follow. And like a while ago I did a bit of like a D, D, what's the word? Clutter of yeah. like accounts that weren't bringing me happiness and weren't bringing me joy. And I filled up my account with accounts of, you know, bodies that looked like mine and bodies that didn't look like mine and just bodies that, all types of bodies, but, but accounts that made me feel good and made me feel valued and stuff. Mm. And now when I go on my Instagram and scroll, I really do feel like valued and I feel represented and I don't feel like I'm there thinking no one looks like me. Do you get yeah. me? Yeah. No, I do get you. Do you want to Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just talking. What Sorry, was... so, yeah. Next question. Look, I was saying to you the other day, about how I've always been really good on Instagram, how I don't follow very many people. And like, if I follow someone, I'm, I'm a really brutal follower. I am like what people like Karis would not want in a follower. Because <laughs> I follow someone, and then if after a week, I'm like, actually don't particularly like your content, I'll just unfollow no, straight that's good. away. I think that's good. Just in terms of I'm quite brutal. And I have such a small feed, yeah. and the majority is people that I actually know rather than kind of mm -hmm. online people. And what I get lost in is the explore page. We were talking the other day, mm. weren't we, about how 
you know people kind of get a little bit addicted to Instagram and you end up sitting on the toilet, you know, for about half an hour after you've actually yeah. finished using the toilet. I am one of those people, but I'm so good with my actual Instagram feed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's the explore page mm -hmm. that I just get lost on. And I said, do you think there'd ever be a function on Instagram where you can turn off the explore page? Because I thought that would be great for me because it would save me so much time. But then, no, not only would I never find accounts that I like, yeah. Mainly rugby accounts, that's mainly what I look at on them. <laughs> but people like Karis, mm. unfortunately, wouldn't, you know, Survive. be bound by yeah. accounts. So it's one of those it's funny ones. And I wouldn't find other people's accounts no, that I find really helpful. I find it a positive a lot of the time. But it can be negative if yeah. you get down the wrong tunnels of social media. Or like you click on a meme you like the look of. And then, even though the memes are quite interesting, it still seems like a bit of a waste of 20 minutes going on the toilet. Like. And also, on that, on like explore page and stuff, especially like reels, the like real feature on Instagram that I've mm. become like addicted to kind of going on there and yeah. scrolling through there. And it's really interesting, like if you find that your reels are, say for example, only showing you slim, slim body types that, you know, you struggle with seeing that all over your reels, you know, Instagram and social media is very clever. It kind of picks up on what you watch, what you mm. watch over and over, what you click on, what you interact with. So I know it's, if you're not used to interacting with other types of content, you have to kind of like remind yourself when you see a body shape that isn't like yours, or you see content that you find actually makes you feel valued and makes you feel great, actively try and engage with that content and watch it and like it and comment or whatever. That's so cringy, but like- Like my photo, guys. So if you just pop over to my account like my um, and just see if you like me, no, <laughs> I'm not on about my account whatsoever. Um, any account that you mm. find that you like, the more you engage with those type yeah, of accounts, the more it'll that. come up. But I know that's, you know, we, we have so many inbuilt things in us mm -hmm. from society that we often find we still engage with the things that we don't find because helpful. It shocks you almost, doesn't it? So yeah. Saying, like, if you're, you're struggling like, oh. with your weight gain journey, yeah. you would still see like about like what you would have previously viewed yeah. or maybe still view as body girls, and you would still be like, oh, click on it. Mm. And you just can't, you can't help you it. You can't help it. I know. In slow progress, it's, it's like, it's like, sorry, it's like you know. controversial people. Like, you know yeah. how people put a title on, you know, something about whatever's like the opposite to what you believe. You can't help but click on it. And then it might, you know, not trigger you, but it mm -hmm. makes you a little bit like, oh, that's sad that people have that view. Mm -hmm. And then you just then are going to constantly yeah. get those people with the kind of controversial views, you know, the earth's flat. I don't know, not that. <laughs> so it's kind of like, don't start. Yeah. No, I totally get what you mean, and I, yeah. It does start a debate, yeah, it's not flat, guys. <laughs> we're, not, we're not here for that McDonald's and Jack debate. Getting out of lockdown anxiety, do you have any? I personally don't have any. Really? No, not what any. would the anxiety, no, about what? What would the anxiety? Everything. People, I understand that parking, people are... busy places. <laughs> oh yeah, my anxiety is traffic. Yeah. I hate traffic. But we've been hitting that now with people going on summer holidays in the UK. Yeah, true. It's chaotic. Don't I know about it? No, I, I don't. Jump in the car. I don't usually get social anxiety because we don't socialise with people that we don't really like. Wait, wait. We don't socialise. Stop. We don't socialise. Um, in or out of lockdown. Full stop. We have a very small selection of friends. Small selection, like a small. Mm. Her like a variety box. There's only six. <laughs> oh, I thought no, no different. That we see them lots. We turn up lots, <laughs> but there's only six. <laughs> yeah, we have small group friends, really close, and um, so I never get anxiety like seeing them. But I definitely feel like anxiety for things that like parties, occasions, you know, birthday parties, bigger gatherings start back up. Mm -hmm. And I often, and I know so many other people do, get sort of anxiety with like small talk and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like, I think small talk is like a talent. It's like an actual talent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're, are you good at it? <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm good at it, but I don't get, I don't really get awkward. Yeah. So I feel like I can How? hold, I can hold a pause. Do you know? I'm one of those mm. people, I'm not particularly good at small talk, but I can hold a pause without kind of like, you know, collapsing inside myself. <laughs> oh my God, that's I can mean. understand why you would collapse inside yourself, but it's quite awkward at times, but. It's just so funny though. It's just like, I wish I could just be like, oh my gosh, it's actually a pause. Even if it was awkward, mm. I'd love to, like humans, to literally just be like, uh, I've got nothing else to say now, so I'm going to leave. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, just kind of, like, life's too short. Why am I standing there, like, I like melting like, inside, yeah, yeah. when it's just like, oh my gosh, just get over it. Like, you just want to life I feel just, like this convo's over now. Yeah. I'm going to go and talk to someone else. Yeah, bye. <laughs> like, I just, what, that's what that I want to say. quite horrible, doesn't it? But, but yeah, but if we were all a bit more like that, like, it's not, it's like, I enjoy 
you know, if it were all a bit like that, you think people would have less anxiety because they would go to parties and halfway through a convert, people might go, Bye. I've had enough talking to you now, <laughs> I'm leaving. And that's going to make people feel better? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough I one. I do feel a little bit anxious, like, yeah, I think, go to parties. I think with like busy places as well, like, mm. even during when the restrictions first lifted, when, when we were pregnant, we, when I was pregnant and we went down to Joe's Ice Cream to get a Joe's mm. and like people had just started coming out and about and it was like really busy and we were in a queue mm. and like, you know, people were going past with, with you know, prams and bikes and like, oh, I was, yeah. I just got so overwhelmed and I was like, I'm not actually enjoying this like sunny weather. We had a nice iced coffee and I was like, I want to go home and sit in my bedroom and drink this iced coffee and I'll be having a way of a time watching Big Bang Theory. Do you that's what I'm used to now. Yeah, but do you think, because obviously you were an anxious person before, do you think lockdown's changed that at all? Or do you think actually you're exactly the same? You yeah, is it exactly the same? Were. But now it's just the contrast mm. of like, uh oh, I forgot, I have to deal with this again. Mm. And so like, many people have said they've developed it and like, really? They feel like they've been really good. Like my mum even. She was like, oh, true. I'm really good at stuff, but now I'm a bit anxious about it. Now because you're just yeah. like, you realise how much you, or like you've adjusted to enjoying your own company, mm. sitting in the TV, you know, having that me time, that downtime. And you probably yeah. thrive less now off busy, bustling situations. And I so. just dog my mum in there. If any of her friends are watching, which I know some do, um, she's not cancelling because she's busy. <laughs> she just see you. <laughs> That's joking. funny. Please don't kill me, mum. What are your love languages? Right, if you don't know what love languages are, I can't mm. remember. Oh no, I do remember what yours is. There's five, isn't there? I think there's five or six, I can't remember. Um, and it's basically, it's really good to work out if you're in a couple, or not in a couple, in families, in friends, anything actually. It's really good to know yeah. like each other's love languages. I say that, I do not know any of my friends and family's love language, so that was just a really kind of hypocritical thing to say. Mm -hmm. um, learn all of your you personal... You guys should all know, we don't know ours. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know James's. But if you can be bothered, it is cool to learn. Um, so it's like the language of love, so like the way you personally sh um, show love and receive love. So like your favourite way to receive love and your favourite way to show love. I can't remember what the exact ones are, but it's things like physical touch, gift giving, gift words receiving. of affirmation, gift receiving, yes. quality time? Did I do quality that one? Quality time, no. So gift receiving, gift giving, quality time, um, affirmations and um, touch. Yeah. Physical touch. So, for example, like my two sisters are like the opposite, my older sister would love to show um, her love by physical touch, whereas my little sister doesn't like physical touch. physical touch. No, but like that wouldn't be Water her. The barrier around her. <laughs> that wouldn't be her language of love, you know? No, I know. So everyone has their own. Yeah. Mine are, let me think, let me remember. Gift giving, gift receiving, quality <laughs> time. Physical all, touch. All around super needy. All around super needy. Okay. Oh my God, that's so true. <laughs> No, mine are, so wait, what I want to do for you yeah. is words of affirmation, because I'm constantly like, I love you. Um, sorry, sorry you, what, what do you mean what you want to do for me? What? Like how I want to show love to you, that's how I'm thinking of it in my head. So like what I want to... Right, yeah. so you think... So the way I give love show, yeah, is words things. of affirmation, I'd say, compared to the rest, because I'm useless with uh, quality time. Physical touch and words of affirmation. And then what I want to receive... It's physical touch and words. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. It's only one way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't decide what you give. You can't say, you can't say, hey, my my boyfriend, what's your things? Oh, I'm glad that they're your languages of love, but I'm going to give you the opposite languages of love. That made me feel special now. Oh my gosh. I hope that made sense how I explained it before, because I feel like I had in my mind that there was like two different no. ways. Everyone has their own about what, how they want to be shown love. And mm. in terms of, Maybe like two of them. That was maybe it. if people give you a gift, you're one of those people that's like, yeah, your gift. But it doesn't really like fill you with much. Where other people, a gift is like everything. So, so sorry, the point was that I was. So yeah, I might want to receive. Why are you looking at my yeah. hair? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. It's beautiful. Why are you looking at my hair? It's lovely. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. I wasn't. I is just it? glanced up. <laughs> sorry for glancing at your hair. <laughs> Literally, you know? insecurities firing out here. Why are you looking at me? What are you looking at? To look ugly. No, listen, listen. I am listening. I. Okay, you go again. I. So then, 
Can I just say, you're meant to just say what yours are. Yeah. But naturally, naturally, you show other people love in I your know, language I know, that's love. what I was going to say. Right. But because mine is physical touch and words of affirmation, yeah. then you naturally, like you said, will like give that to others thinking that's what they'd want. But actually you need to learn their language of love. Not quality need time. To. You need to! <laughs> quality time. And, that you know. And that's Leela. You are not getting a mozzarella stick. She's all good. Oh, well, she's sitting for one. No, she can't have a chicken nugget either. I'll go and give her a nice, healthy chicken fillet to the bed. <laughs> um, do you get me? Yeah. I don't know why I'm. Anyway, so what's your language so of love? <laughs> I just told you. Physical touch and words of affirmation. What's what yours? do you think mine are? <laughs> Quality time. Yes. And. It doesn't have to be two. Gift giving. Yeah, that's their mine too. You say it's not gift receiving, but it is. It's not gift receiving. In terms of, don't get me wrong, I like receiving things. But then, <laughs> I love a good gift, okay? But it doesn't like fill me with love. Does that make sense? I don't receive, like, yeah, I get you. a gift. Unless it's a really, really thoughtful gift. Hint, hint. Um, it, I don't know, it just doesn't really do that oh, no. loved feeling. No, you much, much prefer fit, um, physical Quality time. Quality time is my big one. Yeah. Physical time. <laughs> and I like giving people gifts. Gift giving, that's yeah, what I said. I know. Yeah. You love giving me gifts. I do love giving you gifts. It makes me happy to see you happy. Thanks, Bill. But yeah, yours is definitely physical touch because, like, when we watch TV in the night, I'm yeah. really happy just sly in there on my own, do not need physical touch, and Cow is just all over me. Like a but you know, I, I with because I know it's her language of love, I <laughs> let her lie on me and. Give her a little. Oh no, you don't. I know she like tickle on me, stroke my arm. No, because I give you, you like a little, that? I give you a little bit of physical touch, and then you're like, you know, tickle my back or scratch my back, and I'm like, oh. I'm sorry, you, you don't have any problem doing that for me, Leila. You're literally there, like. That's like. And then I'm like, tickle my arm, and you're like, oh, for goodness sake, and I'm like, I'm just like a dog. Why can't you, you just scratch me? Don't your tail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, had this question loads. Obviously, I feel like we get it in every single video. Is sex as good post baby? We have actually done it. Now, guys, in the last video, I was very het up over oh, the fact I couldn't you give you my full review. You were, weren't you? I said I'd get back to you. I am going to get back to you, saying, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's exactly the same. But it was for me anyway. Um, I but I have. Better. better. <laughs> I have spoken to people, friends and stuff. Um, and sometimes it can take a bit longer to get back into it. I do feel, I'm not sure what the average... Not for James, though. Yeah, hun, it's not about you <laughs> when it comes to most baby sex. It's not... Sorry, did you find it... <laughs> it painful? Are you recovered? Why did I just do probably the laddiest thing ever? Are you recovered after having a baby? I'm okay. Are you recovered, Donna? Not mentally. You ready to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, um... Yeah, so it can take a while. I feel like we left it a good amount of time. I can't remember the exact amount of time, but it was on our anniversary. Our seven-year one, not our two-year one, not, not literally before this video. Right. Um, it was on like our seven-year anniversary. So I, it was like a good chunk. It was like 10 weeks or something, 11 weeks maybe even, I don't know. Um, yeah, your eyes again. But I know you can do it, well, the, there's this thing about six weeks. I remember in the last video, I was like, it's actually when you look at it behind, it says four weeks. Woo, that's early, my friend. Um, but so yeah. You. If you're ready, if you're ready, you're ready. But if you're not, Top definitely take your time yeah. because I think, yeah, you when I've spoken to people that have maybe done it a little. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep on interrupting you. I, now the food's gone. I've got you just nothing can't to stop talking. To talk, so. Make a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> James's favourite thing to do is make a cup of tea. Always a cup of tea after food. I'm surprised you didn't put some chocolate. Oh, I should have got my flurry. I would have melted by now. Yeah, well, we have a freezer, don't we? We do! That's such a good idea! <laughs> yeah, I've spoken to people before that um, say that they maybe did it a little bit too early and then it was uncomfortable and then it took a bit more like kind of also mentally getting used to. I was really nervous and, and I hope you know if you are nervous like it's very very normal. Your body's just gone through such a massive change. You've just birthed the baby and whatever way you've birthed that baby, it's a scary experience getting back to being intimate and also as a new mum you might not feel intimate yet I think that was the biggest thing for me for me by about two weeks after having Amber I felt physically very well recovered so that wasn't really what was hindering me but hey that was hindering me oh gosh I did a leg day yesterday this is 
This is um, jumping on my back. That really hurts. Ow, me. Oh, no, <laughs> Not my eclipsed eye. For me, it was just, I didn't feel ready. I just, there was just something I didn't feel ready. Um, but I left it for a really good amount of time. And when I was ready, um, yeah, it just all fell back into place. And it was just really, yeah, lovely. Ooh. Oh my god, I sound like such an old mum, like, talking about sex. It's like I can't even say the S word. I'm literally like, Nah. It was when you did no. it, it was lovely. I did! Why am I getting so awkward of being such a mum? It was lovely. It was a really jolly time. Is it? Was it jolly for you? It was a jolly, jolly time for me. <laughs> but it just looked like I was super awkward talking about that question. Yeah, because you did run away. You told me to go and make tea because I kept on actually wanting to get involved too I know. Much. Did you want to say something? No. Did you like it? It was jolly. <laughs> Have a holly jolly! I can't say the word sex like very confidently on the camera. Have a holy jolly sex. <laughs> like, is it a swear word? No, it's not. Why am I being so awkward about it? Why is it all going on it? Okay, let's I do so. Yeah, like, I'm doing it now. I thought we were Quick time. to do it to be about 40 minutes. How okay. long is it? Five hours. Know. Well, it's been quarter an hour in this movie, guys. Oh, we probably, I don't know, how long we did before. We were filming for a little while actually without the battery working. Um, so if you just... wondered why suddenly half of the food was gone, it was <laughs> oh, because right. we missed a good chunk of footage. I just gave you the dirtiest look. I don't know why I was doing work out what you were going to say and I was like... Don't tell them our secrets, James. We were actually holly jollying. No, we weren't. <laughs> YouTube or Instagram? If you could only do one forever, the rest of your life... Isn't like, beyond one? <laughs> Neither. Oh, you no, know, like, no, sorry, I was thinking as an influencer. Like, I have access to one Yeah, no, you can only do one as an influencer, YouTube for me, because I literally love to babble. Yeah, I'd say YouTube. Yeah. But I feel that like YouTube's um, more risky. I don't know why yeah. it feels more, like, unstable long term. Yeah. I don't know why, though. Karis's farts or Amber's farts? Careful. Yeah, Amber doesn't fart. Don't she forget, my prints. language is love is words of affirmation. Karis's farts smell of roses. I should know, we have lots of roses in our garden. So I'm going to go for Karis's. That's lovely, James. That Honestly, really like definitely Amber farts because they don't actually but smell. She doesn't fart. She does fart. So she literally just wherever she farted, I thought. Oh maybe. We then changed her nappy and there just happened to be. Yeah, poo. well she does often fart poo, but like <laughs> I think babies do like loud you know when she has trap wind and yeah. we do the cycles and she does uh, little yeah. farts. That's true. Yeah, they're so cute and they, they don't are cute. they don't smell. No. And obviously they got about, you know, three layers, one of them is very padded. True. That Whereas helps. mine just goes straight out into the open <laughs> and we die for colour. No, we don't. My farts smell like crystals. Crystals don't smell. <laughs> when for Karis, would you rather give birth a hundred times or not see Amber for a week? <laughs> oh, now that's that, just like the most horrible question. Awkward question. I feel answer, like though. with this and that, I get re I get really confused because I'm like taking it too seriously. So I'm like, well, I think Amber would be a lot better if I didn't give birth a hundred times because I would be if I gave birth a hundred times, woman. I'd be very broken. Do you have to give birth a hundred times within a week? <sighs> wow. Even within a year. Even within <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever in a whole lifetime. No, you you wouldn't be okay. So you wouldn't then be a good. So you're saying because of actually not because of the actual birthing experience. Yes, because the birthing but experience, you'd be absolutely... You'd be mentally and physically traumatised. Of course you would. And so the que the answer is not see Amber for a week because when I see her... You know, if I'm giving birth a hundred times, but I can see Amber, what's the point? But I don't understand what I mean. Because literally, yesterday you were saying how you want to go to the spa for a week <clears> and leave me at home with Amber. <laughs> so I'm not sure why you're He's taking literally so got that out of I've had enough of this baby. Can you have a full week and I'll go to the spa? Um, I right. don't know why she's taking, <laughs> taking so long to answer the question. He's joking. I can't even leave Amber for 10 minutes, so... She'll pay someone to leave Amber for <laughs> Oh, that was a nice connection. That was a nice connection. He felt like a nice little slap there. Um, yeah, James just popped that off the top of his head. I am actually practicing leaving Amber for short periods of time because I do struggle with it a lot. 10 minutes. You and that? Yeah. I've done an hour that, that was actually accident. yesterday went and got her phone which she left in the car when that I stayed big. with her in the lounge that was big I do my workout which is when I leave her but I'm just in the house and then I have my physio appointment where I left her for an hour which was tough that was a disaster it was tough never again disaster for me and Amber would you rather have seven children or no more children 
Oh, that is tough. <laughs> no more. I knew you were going to go for that. I think I'd have to go no more as well, which is so unusual for me. Like, yeah. I really want a lot of kids, but... I just think it's so unknown I right just now think... with... I think we have such a beautiful house. But with, oh, not with only, but with four bedrooms. Oh, right. I wonder where you're going with that. It's unknown as to whether we'd ever be able to afford a house with more bedrooms. And Seven, life would just yeah. be so different, wouldn't it? It would be difficult, yeah. I said You've different, got... but you said difficult. <laughs> well, it would be. It would be difficult, yeah. It would be difficult. Doesn't mean it wouldn't be amazing and you wouldn't love all those kids and you'd have oh, so much gosh, love in your yeah. heart. But there's you'd no denying have, it wouldn't be um, easy. No sleep. No sleep in your heart. No free time. Woo. You would be a superhero. Would you rather move to... Answer this one quick. Just answer it now. Oh quick. Gosh, okay. okay? Only because we'll dabble about it. Okay. I don't want a discussion. You're dabbling about it. Dabbling I am. About Let's go. Would you rather move to the middle of the country or the big city? Country. Whoa! I'm assuming by the big city they say... London. <laughs> Mila walked into the recycling bag. Oh, see, now I'm going to dabble about it. No, you no. can't, that's it. Goodbye. Because I think country... Would, would you rather okay. go without coffee or chocolate forever? Chocolate. R no! That is just absolute every night. But my opinion is, if I'm forced to not eat chocolate, after about six months, I would have forgotten what it tasted like. And I feel like then I wouldn't crave it so much. Okay, I like it. So I thought I'd actually go for the least healthy option. Even though I'm sure there's some scientific evidence out there that coffee's worse for you. Probably is. Probably, yeah. Amounts, but I like both. Okay, I like okay. the answer. Thank you. You? Would you rather relive... I'm not answering any. Oh, okay. um, I'd rather go without chocolate as well because then I just physically wouldn't be able to eat it and I'd be much healthier without it. Cause it's we eat a lot of chocolate. Very much a lot in our diet. Okay. Would you rather relive the day you had Amber or relive the day you got married? That's a hard one as well because... What are we talking here? Can I relive the day we got married and then jump back to now with Amber? Because yes, if we're I'm talking, so. I think they're meaning like you know, just a magician day. comes and says you want to. I would do the marriage day. I would do the marriage day only because I think from the moment Amber arrived, best day ever. But obviously, leading but up leading to that, <laughs> there was a lot of stress and anxiety and preeclampsia. And even though you would never change any of that to have Amber, exactly, it's still like it was the best day from Amber arriving. But yeah, not before. <laughs> I'd relive maybe that moment she came yeah. into our arms. But even so, like, I feel like. Would you want to relive the day at all? No, I don't think so, no. because it's such an amazing day, but you can't relive it. Like, you just can't. You can't do that twice. You can no. do a wedding day. I don't know. Like, you can't. Yeah, yeah I'd love to be guests at our wedding day, because you'd have a yeah. good day. But, like, being guests at our birth. No. no. And I also, every day, every week, my love gets stronger. When, a, when the baby first comes out, of course you, like, you're like, oh my gosh, my baby, it, love yeah. it. But right now, like, I know her more, I've yeah. experienced her more, I, I want to be here, present. But also, if you relived it, you'd be like, well, this is pointless. In terms of, like, you know the Why? outcome, and it's yeah. not particularly fun. Until I guess you relive it comes. to have that emotion again of, like, the tears and the... The pain. <laughs> the brain clamps, yeah. Right, <laughs> we overthought that one. If you had to paint your bedroom one of these colours, bright pink or bright yellow? Bright yellow. If it. it's like a bright pastel pink, potentially pink, but like a bright yellow, I would always go because I think pastel yellow or like a bright bright yellow. Yeah, I'm in. I quite like yellow. It's not pastel yellow though, is it? It's I grew up with bright yellow mustard. Can't answer. Just it. neither. Have no sex for the rest of your life or no more room transformations. <laughs> you put this on your story earlier. I, I love this sex. question. Can right. I would definitely rather go for no sex. If this means I couldn't have kids, I pick the have sex. If I could just like, just have. If you could just have sex another once or twice in our life, depending on how much kids, you want to have kids, I would pick the room transformation. If you want to carry on with room transformations, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Um, would you rather? Oh my, right. This is by the same person. She just had the best ones. She had that one, which was just brilliant. And the next one, would you rather get rid of all your eucalyptus or all your fairy lights? This girl knows how to get me confuzzled. Eucalyptus, for me. I think fairy lights, they're just, oh, she's waking up now. The amber's waking up. She heard you want to get rid of the eucalyptus. She did. No, I think I'd, I'd get rid of the eucalyptus. Oh, the tea's well. not brewing. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's been like half an hour. 
That's it. That's all the questions. We ended on that. Would you rather get rid of eucalyptus? I would rather get rid of my eucalyptus. What and a deep question to end on. It was actually, because I just love my fairy lights in the lounge behind the linen sheery curtains that shine through every night. I put them on and they make me happy. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Did you? Yeah, do you want to go get Amber? So yeah. Say goodbye. Yes. I can't hear her. I don't want to wake her up. Oh yeah, she's not actually waking. She's, yeah, she's fast asleep. Is she? Oh, she's making noises in her sleep then. Yeah, she just made a little squeak. Literally, she makes a squeak and we're like, is it time to get up? <laughs> Should we get you up now? She's like fast asleep. I do really want to get her up though and say hello from her to you guys. Nah, no one likes I'm not going to wake her up, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I do that way too much already. Never wake a sleeping baby. Okay, well, Cheers, cheers to talk to that. a good chat. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know if you did. Let us know if you'd like more, you know, McDonald's juicy chit chats with us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for all your this and that's and all of that. Um, please make sure you give the video a like if you did enjoy. Leave us a comment below. We do love reading your comments. Mm -hmm. I feel like I say that very much as like my little like if you're new, subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. But um, we really do love reading your comments. So thank you. And subscribe if you're new and turn your notice on. See you guys. Let's both finish it. Thank you for watching, guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Face me with you. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, you're making me do it. Can't yeah. you do it? Because you're not pregnant anymore. No. <laughs> Bye.